I, so I started messing around with the Apple TV remote inside of Zoom to see what options I had. And not only was I able to disable center stage, which zoomed it way out, but then I was able to, with the remote, zoom and center manually and leave it where I wanted it right there. And it was huh? great. Yeah, it was. a. I found it to be a better experience. Th- and I think my kids would agree <laughs> having to watch this. Uh, I found it to be a better experience than the Apple TV, uh, the FaceTime app. And of course, if you're watching the video of this, Adam is, uh, <laughs> is showing us the examples of zooming and panning and all of that stuff. So yeah, you we, can do it on the Mac too. You just it, turn off center stage. And then when you click on the video, you have a bunch of options, including recenter. You can go to full wide. You yep. can, uh, drag to zoom in and out. And then you can like literally drag to, mm position yourself anywhere so i use this a lot in zoom meetings now and also for stuff like this so that i can make sure my head's not cut off and i don't have to adjust my camera i just do it all there i get yeah perfect centering huh interesting oh i I did not know that you could you could do that uh with center stage on the mac so it's just you're clicking and dragging essentially to yeah you just hover over it it'll give you all the options once you turn off center stage so that the key is the first thing is turn center stage off and then you now get all these additional options for manually yeah. controlling zoom recentering centering yeah interesting i'll have to try center stage again I, I i use my iphone camera here on the on my mac but i use um reincubates camo but i need to try try center stage again 